Hi everybody, good evening. Hello, hello guys. How's everybody doing? Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Uh, can you can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, nice, nice. Alrighty, so thanks a lot, everybody, for joining. Uh, thanks a lot for being with us. Uh, we are going to go for session number 12 today. And well, TGIF, guys. So thanks, God, it's Friday. So, ¿cómo está yendo el Essence of Friday? How is your Friday going? Everything good? Is everything okay? Everything good. Everything good. All right. Nice, nice. What about the rest? How is your Friday going? Good. Kind of good. Hello, teacher. Hi, Richard. Good evening. Hello, Guadalupe. Pedrina, good evening. Nice to see you. I see Karina there. Uh, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. Carlitos. Hi, Sarai. Hi, Jackie. Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn, you're back. So I guess ya hay servicio, right? Yes. Hi. Good evening, Norbert. Hello. Hola, Clary, Clary. How you doing? I see also Danny. Moses. Hi, guys. How are you? ¿Cómo les está yendo en este Friday? Hola, Moses. Solo decir que si yo todavía estoy trabajando, entonces voy a estar como... Eh, Escuchando. Con los audífonos y todo, por si no puedo, o me, o me nombra o algo. Vale. Gracias. Thank you so much for letting me know. Because in this way, uh, sé que no es que me dejen visto. <laughs> No, thank you. I totally appreciate it. All right. Guys, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo les está yendo en su Friday? ¿Todo bien? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I'm, I think I'm great. Aparte que es viernes, I mean, it's, it's Friday. So Fridays ya son como... The body knows that it's Friday, aunque tengamos que trabajar mañana. <laughs> So we are like, yeah, so we are like Friday is Friday, pupusa day, pupusa night, I don't know. So it's just pupusa day. <laughs> is it for breakfast, lunch or dinner? Hi, Brian. Thank you so much for joining. So guys, I'm super like excited to see you all today. Um, especially because ya nos queda poquito, you know, so module number six, casi se nos va de las manos, but I'm really excited uh, to see your improvement every single day, to see that uh, you are getting better, that you're practicing more, right? So that is definitely great, like super, super good. Teacher, good evening. Hola Norbert, how are you? I'm fine. Great, Norbert. Nice, nice. Ooh, so what happened to my glasses? Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot eh, por estar con nosotros. Eh, thank you, Norbert, for oh. acompañarnos oh. desde El Paradise. <laughs> Okay, so that's already. Okay, guys, vamos a trabajar ahora con la unidad número 3, ya como eh, de las últimas unidades 2. Vamos a revisar un poquito eh, vocabulario, vamos a revisar verbos, all right. Eh, por ahí algunos me prometieron, bueno, no me prometieron, se autoprometieron, <ríe> eh, memorizarse exp algunas expresiones, algunos verbos. So this is the, the perfect opportunity para que también vayamos haciendo eh, repaso de eso. Eh, as I mentioned yesterday, teníamos por ahí una presentación pendiente de un minuto 30, que eran con trabajos, right? Como con jobs, obligations, pero de algunos trabajos. Entonces también vamos a verlo ahora. We are going to uh, listen to you, right? So let's get started. Comenzamos, ok. Um, voy a pasar asistencia. Um, solo si me ayudan con su camarita, please. Help me um, a couple of seconds here. Regáleme confirmación, porfa, que están ahí, you know. 
so we can get it started. Almost. Okay, give me just a sec. Give me solo un segundito here. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. So I got Anita. Anita ya se con nosotros. Hola, Anita. Creo que no lo vi. No la vi hace unos segundos. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, Brian, Brian, si ya lo escuché. Hi, Brian. Solo regáleme yeah. confirmation. Thank you. Eh, Danis. A Danis no lo veo. Eh, Saraí. Hola, Saraí. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Eduardo. Present. Hola, Eduardo. How are you? Thank you. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot for joining. Eh, Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Jackie. Present me. Thank you so much. Eh, Jocelyn. Present teacher. Yes, we got you. Ignacio. Todavía no. Eh, Norbert. Teacher. Gracias, Norbert. Eh, Alex. Present, present. Perfecto, thank you so much. Y Marvin López. Clary. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Thank you so much. Perfect. Y Moses, ya está por ahí. Thank you, Moses. Y Nelson. Nelson. Yes, yes. perfect. Thank you. Wait a second. Escuché la voz de Ignacio. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm hi, here. Ignacio. All right. Sorry, no. No, es, no estaba viendo la, la, la pantalla. So, Nelson está por acá. No, okay. Le confundí la voz. Sorry. <laughs> Pensé que era Nelson. So, I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> All right. Um, Pedrina. La vi hace unos segunditos. I think she's around. Eh, Mar, eh, I'm sorry, René. Teacher present. Gracias, René. Eh, Ricardo. Present, teacher present. Que estaba en la tiendita, ese Richard. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Richard. Richard was in the chalet. Eh, eh, Sonia gracias. Mabel. Present, teacher. Perfect, thank you so much. Eh, Brenda, la vi por ahí hace unos segundos. Eh, Carlos. Carlos también lo vi. There we go. Thank you so much. Claudia Lorena. Claudia, Claudia. Ok. En Karina. Teacher present. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, who told me? ¿Quién me dijo present? Pedrina, was it you? Present. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, no worries. Got you. Yeah, I, I, I still like get your Present voice. Teacher. Uh, that's Anita. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just making sure. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. Hemos tenido una excelente attendance hasta este momento. Please mantengámosla de esta forma. You know, eh, la mayoría tienen like los 120 minutitos. Así que great. That's just beautiful, you know. So let's try to keep it as well. And uh, nos quedan menos de la mitad de clases, guys. Así que ya casi, ya casi, you know. <laughs> we are almost there. And uh, just let me make sure. I got everybody. I see Marvin, pero me falta. Okay, el tocayo. Okay, okay, everybody. So let's get started with the things we got for today. Okay, to get started today. Eh, solamente un poquito del, del one on one, solo tenemos con Mr. Bonilla. So, Alex, si me regala un par de minutitos, please. Eh, si tiene algún inconveniente con el tiempo, me avisa y vemos con quién programamos. No worries. So, guys, this is our first activity today. It is called Letter String Dictation. All right. 
So, vamos a trabajar un poquito con listening, con dictation, en caso que ya se nos haya olvidado, right? Um, les voy a deletrear, I'm going to spell for you a paragraph, all right? Please, si se quedan, no se preocupen. If there is a letter you don't get, déjenlo así, dejen el espacio, háganle, pónganle una rayita y solamente seguimos. And we continue with the next letter, right? And um, so, no es como, ah, yo, ya no entendí nada, ya no voy a escribir. <laughs> Because probably then you get it. So remember, esto se trata de uh, educar un poquito nuestro oído. So get a piece of paper, si se les hace más fácil, get a piece of paper, get a pen or a pencil, uh, or si se les hace más fácil en un documento de Word, aunque a veces es más difícil estar buscando letra por letra, right? Um, so, I would say a piece of paper is just perfect for us. Y me confirman cuando ya lo tenga listo. So, let me know. Okay. So, let me know, please, when you are ready, guys. Thank you. Ready, teacher. Ready. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I'm Very nice. nice. Okay, so everybody has a piece of paper, a pen, a pencil. Okay, very good. Good, 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 good. Guys, the rest, los demás también. Does everybody have it? Yes, teacher. Amazing. Ooh, yes. Rene, are you a little sick? No, yeah. no, no. Oh, okay. I think I, I heard for a second your voice a little bit deeper. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so hopefully you're not sick. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, this is like a little, um, I would say is really uh, short. Probably. So I'm just going to spell. No voy a leer el paragraph, sino que se los voy a deletrear. Little by little, letter by letter. Solamente un par de cositas antes para que podamos tener general um, spelling understanding. Okay. Por ejemplo, el espacio. So I'm going to tell you next. Okay. Like next word. So next word means como hay un espacio, right? Esa es la próxima palabra. You have, for example, coma. So una coma es una coma, right? <laughs> so coma. And also we have period. So period son los puntitos, all right? Como el punto y seguido. That's going to be a period, all right? So that is just for you to have a, or to take into account. Next word es como el espacio, la siguiente. Then we have coma, and then we have period. All right, las demás están fáciles. Okay, ready, guys. Se los voy a ir deletreando a una velocidad normal, I would say. No tan rápido, no tan lento. So, si necesitan que repita, díganmelo en el momento para no avanzar tanto, right? Okay. Can we get started? ¿Comenzamos? Yes, miss. Okay. Go, go. Amazing, amazing. Ignacio? Hola, Ignacio. Only you, you start the spelling the words, mm. words, or, or, or. I mean, so, es como un parrafito pequeñito, but se lo voy a deletrear todo. <laughs> I'm going to spell everything, y luego comparamos en general qué es lo que tengan. Uh -huh. So, no okay, worries. Exactly. Si se le, again, si no encuentran una letra, no están seguros, ok. Escríbanla como la escuchan y luego regresan y verifican. No hay problema. O dejan el espacio. So leave the space, please. Ok. Oh, let's get started. First word. D, A, I, L, Y. Next word. Yes, of course. D A I L Y. Next word. R O U T I N E. Next 
Next word. I S. Next word. I M P. O R T. A N T. Next word. T O. Next word, F O R. Next, A. Next, G O O D. Next, A and B. Next, O R G A N I Z E D. Yes, of course. So, la última palabra, the last word O R G A N I Z E D. Next word, L I F E. Next word, B E C A U S E. Period. So period is el puntito, right? Period. Uh, no, 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 wait. No, el period. I <laughs> so next word. <laughs> IT. Next. W I L L. Next. H E L P Next U S A space or next uh, T O Next W O R K And the last one, E F F E C T I V E L Y. Period. Yes, of course. The last word, E F F. E C T I V E L Y. Period. That's the last one. Okay, guys, this was only a sentence. So, teníamos días de no, de no practicar a little bit of spelling. So, let's see. Veamos cómo les fue. So, how did it go? What does it say? ¿Qué lograron uh, comprender? What did you get, guys? What did you miss? Tell me. ¿Qué dice el párrafo? Okay. Okay. ¿O qué dice la oración? What does it say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, my, why not? Oh, Brenda, hello. No, but, I mean, si, si acaba de, de venir, no hay problema. So, pero, you're pero good. Dice, Jeroglífico son. Yes, no, yes. pero si hay algún, o alguna letra you didn't get, deje el espacio y siga, right? That was the idea. So, ¿qué tienen, guys? What ah, do you pues have? No, I tengo mucha confianza en ustedes. Mi, so tell mi me. teacher. Yes. Pero daily. Ok, daily. Daily. Routine. Yes, daily routine. It's important. It's important. And to for a good organization. 
Oh, okay, okay. Super. Okay, wait. Daily routine is important to four. Okay, very good. Y luego, four. A good. A good. And. And. Organization. Oh, casi. And. And organized. Organized. Yeah, and organized. Pero bien, you got the idea. So it was organ. Okay. And organized. Luego. Life because. Life because. Because, because well, will I help. will. It will. Help. 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 To work. To help to us. Work. Nos to va a ayudar. It will help us to work. Y la última uh -huh. palabra. Esa no la entendí. Effectivity. Effectivity. <laughs> if, if it... <laughs> okay, spell it for me. Dele tráeme la de regreso. Spell it back. E. Uh -huh. F. F. Yes. E. C. D. D. A. A. C. T. C. D. C. T. Y luego. Hasta ahí la tengo yo. W. No, there is no W. Norbert. Effect. Effect. Ok, efecto estamos bien. Este efecto, we are good, pero le falta un poquito más. ¿Qué más tiene? So, effect. Effect. Uh, word. Uh, Norbert. Uh, word mm, no es effect, le falta algo effect so effect effect creo que alguien le dijo but, but I'm not sure so the word okay. la última yes Guadalupe effect effective casi le falta le falta dos <laughs> dos letras ok let me spell it again E F F E C, right? Effect. Así que estamos super bien. Luego I uh, I uh -huh, I V E L Y. So eso es effect. Creo que Richard lo mencionó. Richard. Efective. Efective. No. No, effective, no. ok, hasta efectivo estamos bien, pero le faltan dos letras, las últimas dos letras. Efective. So, effect, efectivo. Effective. Y las bueno. últimas do dos letras son, Norbert. B, I, no. Ajá, uh -huh. le faltan dos. Ay, sería la B, I. B, <ríe> B, I, -E. ajá, B, I, -E. ok, -E. B, I. -E. Y luego... D. D. No, no hay Effectively. Effectively. <laughs> okay, that is effectively. All right, all right. So it's effective and then Lee, right? So effectively. Efectivamente. Oh, uh -huh. that is the, those are the letters, pero lo hicieron super bien. You did it super, super nicely. I'm super glad you remember the alphabet and you got very good uh, listening to it. So, yeah, that, that was the first part we got today. Vamos a trabajar un poquito with the following term. Vamos a revisar solamente vocabulary a little bit. And the instruction, guys, let's move on. It says, cross out the old word. And then add one more. Tenemos acá categorías, but of course, para intentar adivinar esta categoría, necesito saber o conocer qué significan estas palabras. So, necesito que me ayuden a eliminar una. I need you to help me eliminate or delete una palabra, one word, de las que están en la lista. The number one, number two, number three. One word. Y vamos a agregar una más que sí pertenezca a la categoría. All right? For okay. example, el... Number one, blue, pink, park, black. ¿Cuál no pertenece? Which one is Park. not? Park. Park. Okay, I need Park. another. Can you help me here? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow, yes, great. Next one, apple, banana, orange, chair. 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 Okay, tell me one. Uh, grapes. Grapes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Nice, nice. Next. Three. Postman, doctor, hospital, secretary. Postman. 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 Ah, postman or hospital. <laughs> Hospital. 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 Why hospital? Because las demás son ocupaciones, right? So the rest are occupations. Uh -huh. So postman, eh, como el, la persona que le lleva el correo, right? So postman, Hus eh, doctor, secretary, what else? ¿Qué agregaríamos? What can you add? Manager. Manager. Yeah. Good, good. That's okay. Number four, hungry, tired, happy, friend. 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 Okay, so what do you add? Smiley. <laughs> okay, smiley. Okay. Happy. Uh, can you repeat, Mabel? Happy. happy. Yeah, boy. Happy. We have happy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or the opposite. The opposite, like sad. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. the opposite too. It's five. Friday, Sunday, March, Wednesday. March. 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 What would you have? Tuesday. Tuesday, Saturday. Exactly. Good. Next one. Seven, eight. Uh, no, seven first. Eight and twenty. Uh, first. Mm -hmm. first. First. Exactly. Good. Good guys. Nice. Number seven. German, Russia, England, or Scotland? Scotland. Why? Russia. 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 Why? Russia. England, Scotland. Yes. For example, oh. uh, either, How you say? Don't have delicious. No. Mm, too. German, German, England, Scotland. ¿Cuál eliminarían? ¿Cuál would you eliminate? Russia. Russia? Scotland. Scotland. Okay, German. why? Oh, I heard somebody say German. Okay. German. Oh, so let's check it out. ¿Qué tienen en común, guys? What do these things have in common? Okay. The other three are countries. In the three are they... countries. Russia is a country. England is a country. Scotland, too. But Germany is not a country. Ignacio creo que mencionó gentilicio. So good, you got it. German is the nationality. What is the country? Germany. Germany. Germany, exactly. So Germany. Okay. So that will be German. Germany South. Number eight. February, November, Monday, July. Monday. Monday. Exactly. Monday. Monday doesn't be longer. Okay. Nine. Three. Fridge. Table. Bed. Three. Three. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yes. Nine. Oh, no, I mean, in number nine, three, right? Nine. Three, you said. So in nine, three. Okay, yeah, because the others, yeah, you're right. Pertenecen a la casa. What about number 10? Salad, carrot, tomato, cucumber. Hey, cucumber. Why? Oh, salad. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. Why salad? Porque le eliminarían. Why would you add, eliminate salad? Because the other are vegetable and salad is a general. Okay, exactly. The three are vegetables, but salad is like the result, right? Like the food itself. Okay, nice. That would be salad. Number 11, second, third, nine, twelve. Nine. 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 Very good. The others are the ordinal numbers. Number 12, orange, cherry, potato, or kiwi? Potato. 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 Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> That's potato. And number 13, good, nice, bad, and friendly. Bad. Bad. Okay, ¿qué agregarían? What would you add? Good, nice. Friendly. What would you add? ¿Qué otra palabra significa mm. lo mismo? Mm, beautiful. 
Mm, could be, depende del contexto, but let's take a look. Good, nice, and friendly. Son como palabras positivas. Tell me another positive word. Beautiful, podría ser, it could work. ¿Qué más? Easy going. Mm, easy going, all right. Como para una persona. Mm -hmm. Teacher, for example, 20. En la número, en la última, in number 13. Yeah. 20, you said, el número 20. No, no, no. ¿Cuál era la palabra, perdón? 20. It's can a you, new vocabulary. Can you explain that for but, me? But this, but this, this word to use in the 70s, in when, when I was younger. Can you, can you spell the, the word for me, please? 20. Um, T, mm -hmm. W, A, N, E. Mm. Man, like this one, T, W, A, N, E? Yeah, 20. I have to be super honest with you. Nunca la había visto. I have never seen it. So let me check it out. At the 70s, it, that, that word is uh, to use for the young. Mm, okay. Para decir, hey, 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 que, hey, que bonito, hey, que chivo, hey. hey ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronunciaba? How do you pronounce it? Tuani. Hey, está Tuani. It's a, it's a popular in, in, in the 70 year. Really? But, but in El Salvador? In, 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 in El Salvador. Ok. To be on, no, no la logro encontrar. Me corrige el spelling, por favor, está en el chat. Is that the spelling? 20, oh, sorry. 20. Yeah. In the last E is, is different. W, no, T, W, A, N, Y. Oh, 20, 20. Y, the last, the last word. The it's last not E. Is, is Y. 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will check it out later. <laughs> Luego me voy a poner en la tarea de investigarlo because uh, I had never seen it and no sabía que en el país lo utilizábamos. So I gotta investigate to be honest. But yeah, we can use like beautiful. Eh, ¿Alguien más se le ocurre otra palabra? Por ejemplo, I can use the word cool, right? Como para, está bien, está ok. So cool. ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mind? Funny. Oh, funny. Ok, yes. Algo más? Anything else? Okay. okay, I think we are super good. Okay, guys, um, I let's move on a little bit. And este es un, un poquito de repaso de vocabulary que vamos a estar realizando. We are going to check this super quick. Yo sé que algunos ya se pueden los verbos. This is not like, this is a piece of cake for you. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be really cool because we are going to use them. So, revisamos really quick. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación y luego los ponemos en práctica, right? So, let's go with the first one. Fall, fell, fallen. Repitan conmigo. Fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fell, fallen. Fall, fallen. Yes. What is the meaning of fall? Caer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, the second. Feel, felt, felt. Feel, felt, felt. So, this is? Sentir. <laughs> Sentir, okay. Next one. Fight, fought, fought. Fight, fought, fought, fought. What is the meaning of fight? Pelear. Exactly. Pelear. Mm -hmm. Next one. Fine, found, found. Fine, found, found. So fine is? Encontrar. Okay. Encontrar algo. Exactly. Next one, fly, flew, flown. Fly, fly, flew, flown. Fly, flew, flew, right? Fly, flew, flown. Like, oh. volar, right? That's the one we got. Next one, forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgot, forgotten. For, okay, very good. Next one, forgive, forgave, forgiven. 
Forgive. Forgive. Okay. Forgive. What is the meaning of forgive? What is forgive? Mm, is forget. Se parece mucho. They are similar. So forget is olvidar. Como se, uy, se me olvidó. I forgot it. Mm -hmm. I forgot it. Y forgive, what is the meaning of Perdonar. forgive? Perdonar, very good. So forgive is perdonar and forget is olvidar, all right? So I don't forgive, but I forget. <laughs> so next one, give, gave, given. Give, gave, given. Very good. Let's repeat this one, guys, everybody. Gave. 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 Gay. 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 El sonido es bien importante porque algunos he escuchado que me lo hacen como gay. So no es una idea, sino que es gay. Ok, gay. Gay. So give, gave, given. Next one. Gay. Go, went, going. Go, 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 went, gone. Good. Next one. Grow, grew, grown. Grow, grew, grown. Very good. Next one. Hang, hung, hung. Um, um, um. What is the meaning of grow first? Crecer. Crecer, all right. Como en la empresa o crecer de pequeñito hasta ya ser mayor. Cualquiera funciona. So grow is like yo crezco, yo quiero crecer en la empresa. I want to grow in the company. Grew, yo crecí. I grew in a specific place, right? Uh, next one, hang. What's the meaning of hang? Hang, mm. hung. What is hang? Colgar. Colgar. Very good. Exactly. Pero también hang, si le agrego la palabra, oh, hang on a minute. Okay, or hang, um, or hang, well, yeah, never mind. Solo vamos a ver luego. Pero yes, hang or hang up es colgar. Como colgar el teléfono, colgar una llamada. Mm -hmm. Next one, have, had, have. Have, have, have. Having had, very good. Next one, hear, heard, heard. Hear, Good. Next one, hide, hid, hidden. Hide, hid, hidden. Okay, what is the meaning of hide? What is hide? Despedir. Mm, se parece hire, se parece bastante contratar, fire, despedir, Oculta. ocultar, exactly, hide, like cuando ocultamos algo, <laughs> when you hide, the, I don't know, si ocultan algo de su jefe, de sus papás, of your husband, your wife, you know, eh, normally yo escondo los, los chocolates, <laughs> so normally I hide chocolate. So that's hide. Yo escondo algo. Or in test, I hid it. Yo lo escondí, right? And the last one that we have is hit. So hit, hit, hit. Super fácil. So hit, what is hit, the meaning hit. of hit? Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly, hit it. Como, uy, alguien me golpeó. Somebody hit me, all right? By accident, all right? So good, no, guys. No, no, Dígame no, 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 no es pegar paper o, o sí, se puede utilizar. No, es hit involucra una acción física eh, donde hay sonido, you know. So puede ser como gol me golpeé la cabeza, I hit my head, right? O oh, okay. alguien me pasó pegando. <laughs> Somebody hit me by accident in the bus. Mm -hmm. O okay. alguien me tiró una pelota. So sí involucra como un poco más de violencia. Mm -hmm. No, okay. no sería pegar. Eh, pegar de como documentos, como stickers, eso sería un paste, como copy and paste, copiar y pegar okay. cuando hablamos de computadora. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, guys, now I bring one activity for you antes que revisemos el tema de ahora. And this is the following. I need you guys. Necesito que me ayuden seleccionando cinco de estos verbos. I want you to select five Five is the minimum. Le pueden agregar más. You can add more. But five is the minimum number of verbs you can add. And vamos a coger solo los pasados. Only past tenses, solo la segunda columna, that is the past. 
Y creo, quiero que me escriban o que me formen una historia cortita con los cinco verbos de algo que pasó. Pueden agregarle nombre a su personaje, right? Um, so tell me what happened. Pretty much that's it. Uh, guys, para los que ya eh, pasamos de la parte de escribir y ya se sienten más cómodos hablando, interactuando, etc. No la escriban, ármenla en su mente, right? Solo hagamos los cambios de verbos a pasados. So, I'll give you, les voy a dar dos minutos solamente, porque son solo cinco verbos. I'll give you two, two minutes, three minutes maximum, para que puedan armar su historia. ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer? Easy. For example, eh, today I went to the bank because I needed some money. And I heard there was a soccer match today. So I was very excited. Um, I forgot to ask the woman what time the match or the soccer game, the soccer match was. So later, I, mm, I don't know. ¿Qué más puedo inventar? Give me a second. <laughs> so then um, uh, the woman asked me for my ID to complete my, my deposit. So I gave this woman my DUI. I gave the woman my ID. And that's it. <laughs> okay, no tiene que ser complicado. It doesn't have to be complicated at all. Solo escojan los verbos in past. Y contamos su historia. Podemos utilizar connectors como so, entonces, right? Or you can use later, then, next, etc. Two minutes.
Okay, one extra minute. Hi, Miss. Good evening. Hi, Danis. How are you? Um, I'm tired, so so. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. But thank you so much for joining. Ya casi terminamos el día too, you know. Friday yeah. is almost over. Right. So. Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> yeah, Friday <laughs> is almost over. Yeah. And the good thing is, I believe you rest tomorrow, right? Okay. Or, or do you do you uh, work tomorrow? Is interesting or tired for present the report? Or, ¿Cómo se dice presupuesto? Budget. Budget. Mm -hmm. Twenty thousand twenty two. No, yeah. okay, for yeah. this year. The star, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, but but the good thing is that then you can go to the beach and relax a little bit, so. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, I know, yeah. so. Yeah. So Friday is almost over. Okay, so uh, in the meantime, Dennis, let me just explain to you. And si alguien se me había levantado too, let me just go ahead and explain this part. Vamos a seleccionar, you're going to select cinco verbos, five verbs in simple past. Okay. Y nos va a intentar contar una historia de lo que sea. <laughs> anything, five, anything that comes to your mind. Like, yeah. Five verbs okay. minimum. Mm -hmm. Five verbs minimum. Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, okay. time is over. So do I have any volunteer? Does anybody want to get started? Or, or can I go with victims? <laughs> I like to select victims a lot. So it is up I to you. Share. Richard, okay, perfect, Richard. So Richard, Richard, si ya lo tiene, no lo escriba. Don't write it down. Don't read it. No lo, no lo lea tampoco. Solo cuéntenos. Richard, tell us. Richard Dury. Yes. Yeah, Richard. Yes. Me pasa que le piso. Go, Richard, go. Ah, espere, 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 me piso. Me voy a ubicar, pero... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, my brother went uh, to the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, he he hit the the money for uh, security. Okay. Uh, uh, a fell. Uh, a big uh, a strong fell. Um, he was he to 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 hunt on the bus on the bus because it was was already already right and I forget uh, they they breathe. That's all. That's it. That's all is okay. All right. All right. That's so it. let's do it one more time, Richard. Let's do it one more time. Uh, I think I got most of your ideas. So just let me make sure I got everything. So your brother went to the bank. Yes. Okay. My brother went to the bank. Uh huh. And then? He, he uh -huh. uh, had the, the money. Like gave? Gave. Okay. Uh, for se security. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, a big uh, storm fell. Mm, what do you mean? Uh, like, se cayó? He fell down? Yes, a storm fell. Oh. Oh, there was a storm. A storm, uh huh. There was a storm, okay. Yes, the storm fell. Uh, no, single uh, fell. So there was a uh, storm. Mm -hmm. Había una tormenta. Uh, no, 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 no se puede decir 
que cayó que una cayó, tormenta, no. Un, no, ah, no okay. puedo decir que llovió. It ah, rained. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes, gotcha. No, I know, I know, I know. That's why. Ajá, sí. Nosotros yes. en español decimos cayó una tormenta. Pero, no, pero sería o sea, llover. Lo, aso uh -huh. lo, aso lo asocié por el verbo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, ah, no, caer es literal que algo cayó. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok, yeah. ok. Yeah. Súper bien, ajá. There was a was... storm. Ok, ok. Next, eh, what's was it no it was his storm mm -hmm. to pumped no es pumped no me acuerdo cómo se cómo se decía ¿cuál es la palabra es, perdón es el verbo eh, colgado uh, hang hands hang, tipo mano es eh, verdad hands hands pero uh, con qué uh -huh. vergüenza ajá ajá, ajá. ajá. Es casi, casi, casi similar en las palabras. Uh -huh. uh, on the bus, the cause it was a ready night. Porque ya cayó la, la noche. Uh -huh. Because eh, it was a ready night. Uh -huh. It's a ready night. And I forget. Eh, forgot. They forgot. Uh -huh. They umbrella. Okay, umbrella. That's all. Umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, yeah, como Rihanna song. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, the umbrella. All right. Perfect, Richard. Yeah, Thank you so, so much. Yeah. Very nice try. That was a very nice try. Good, good, good. Yes, I know. Lo de la tormenta se sería como había una tormenta. So there was. Okay, lo voy a escribir okay. en el chat. Lo demás, nice, nice description. Thank you so much. There was a storm. Okay. There we go. All right. Who is next, guys? Who quiere continuar? Who wants to continue? Who wants to be next? Teacher. Yes. Thank you, Karina. Please be my guest. Okay. My mom went to the dentist. There, she found a good promotion, but she had a problem. She forgot her wallet, and she needed a money to pay. Uh, she felt so sad. Okay, nice. <laughs> that sounded very, very short, but actually that was very complete. All right, thank you so much. Good. Next person, who wants to go next? Es cortita, guys. Very short. Let's do it. Me, teacher. Yes, Norbert, go. Uh, my boss, give me. Uh, give me okay. a Wait. bonus. Your, your boss gave, gave me, me dio, or hit me? Okay. Me dio, huh? Gave me. Give me. Gave me. Gave me, me. Uh -huh. yes. You gave me a bonus. Oh, nice. Uh, my brothers uh, banks at the school. Uh, I am how a dot very nice. Oh, dot. just just let me stop you for a second, Norbert. Super nice. Your sentences are good. Solo que como es una historia debe de conectármela. <laughs> you have to connect okay. it. Yeah. So my boss gave me a bonus. Y como, no sé, algo le pasó a su hermano. <laughs> ok. So, intentamos conectarla. Try to encuentre la forma de conectarla, you know, and, y regresa como usted. No se preocupe, no worries. Le voy a dar okay. un par de segunditos para que la conecte. Ok. Guys, anybody else? Who's next? Me, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Um, yesterday, I uh -huh. view a beautiful butterfly okay. near my house. Mm -hmm. And I went to see you. I have very near. Never forgot this moment. And I felt very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was really nice. Just a little something, Anita. No estoy, no estoy segura, so I want to make sure about that. You said yesterday I saw a butterfly. Vi una mariposa, right? And I ayer went. Ayer voló. Oh, it mariposa. flew. It flew. All right. Flew. Uh -huh, flew. And then, pero luego me dice, I went to see you. I, Solo, just uh -huh, to make sure. Como, Sería como, I went to, to see the butterfly, right? Como que la fui, la fui a ver, pero a la mariposa. 
Ajá, cabales. Oh, ok. No, súper bien. Solo quitémosle el you. <laughs> so, ah, uh, uh, yeah, and I, and I saw the butterfly or I saw it. En vez de you, él sería it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque sería yeah, to see. To see. It. To see it. Yeah, or to ah, watch it. Sí, uh -huh. it. Yes, okay. exactly. Because it. si decimos you, es como que me diga que me va a ver a mí. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the only thing. Lo demás súper bien. Good. Thank you, Anita. Okay. Next person. Okay. Quiero escuchar a Jackie too. I want to hear eh, Pedrina volunteering as well. Sar Saray volunteering. I want to hear. ¿Qué más? Clari. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, means... go. Um, the last the last weekend, mm -hmm. visit my friendlies. Mm -hmm. Um, I went I went uh, with her in the park, and. I had, we had uh, the, uh, the lunch together mm -hmm. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, we watch uh, the video music. Okay. I felt, uh, I felt very happy <laughs> oh. with my friends. Oh, okay. Like to see your friend, right? All right, yes. thank you. Thank you so much. A nice description. Really like well organization too. Okay, one last person, guys. Alguien más, and then we move on to the next activity. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Yes, Yester please. Yesterday I felt uh, bad and I went to the hospital and the uh -huh. doctor put, put me... Uh, Injection, and I, I feel, I feel bad mm -hmm. when I return of my house. My house, mm -hmm. I hit my 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 arm with my my with my car, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. Okay, yeah. let, let me just understand the last part. So when you arrive to your house, you hit the cat with your car. My arm, arm, mi brazo. Oh, with your arm. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yo solo me imaginé atropello al gato. <laughs> Poor cat. <laughs> okay, that was a good description. Thank you, Renee, good. Um, solo, just to make sure, ¿cuál es el primer verbo que mencionó? Felt. Oh, I yesterday. failed. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right. So I failed. All right. Yeah, I think I heard it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Very nice. That was good. So, Lena, cinco verbitos, you know, una historia cortita. And, uh, and that helps us a lot. Nos ayuda mucho a comenzar a organizar y a pensar, you know. Podemos comenzar con, eh, con oraciones y luego las ponemos juntas. Then we connect them. Eh, Norberto, me hacía falta eh, your participation. No sé si está listo o I come back to you later. ¿Ya listo? ¿Ready? No, teacher, aún no. No yet. Ok, no worries. Yes, Ignacio? I want to participate. Sure, go, Ignacio. Tell us your story. What do you have? Yeah, I, my, my story is real. For me, it's okay. real. It's real, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, today at the afternoon, I went at the 80 well. 80 well is the station pumping the, the of Anda. Anda, you know. Um, that uh, station pumping. It's localized in Antiguo Cuscatlan. Okay. And, and I went to the found the, the project low. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I forgot my key. And um, I had to hit the door for my co-worker. Uh, 
give me access at the oh. station. Oh, so you mentioned that you had to hit the door, como like, pa, 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 up and up. Yeah. O solamente como, como knocking. Or just knocking. It's, it's, it's knocking, but. Oh. Well, because I forgot the my keys. You forget the access to, to the pumping area. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And I'm sorry to hear that. Guys, tenemos esas dos eh, expresiones, right? Thank you so much for that. Eh, tenemos la expresión knock. So knock es esto. All right. Como golpear o como cuando se toca la puerta de alguien. Like, so eso se llama knocking, right? Um, pero es uh, like suavecito. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, we got, thank you so much, Ignacio, for sharing your story. Okay, guys, let's move on a little bit. Vamos a trabajar ahora a little con some instructions. Eh, también con algunos eh, procesos, right? We're going to check some process too. To get started, let's take a look at the following. The objective says, Give and receive instructions on company procedures and policies. Remember that policies son como reglas que ellos tienen. Given by human resources. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. Tenemos Mr. Perez y tenemos Jackie. Jackie está por ahí. <laughs> I'm going to take you. <laughs> Alguien es Perez, guys. Do we have a Perez here? I meet Miss are you Perez? Yeah. Really? Perez Fuentes or Fuente Perez? Ah, no, no, no. Oh, you went to help for me. Example, for example. <laughs> okay, yeah. no. Okay, please help me with Mr. Perez. No, I mean, preguntaba por si alguien bueno, era bueno, Perez. Pero pues, si, yeah. si hay un Perez, ¿qué, qué le dé? Wait, I have a Perez here. Sarai, you are Perez. Yes, me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take you, Sarai. Solo le cambia en vez de decir Mr., uh, usted le pone el título. Puede ser Miss Perez o Mrs. Perez, right? Como la señorita o la señora Perez. Whatever you decide. Um, Jackie, ¿está por aquí? Jackie, Jackie. Probably se ha levantado. All right. So, mientras... I would will, will like read, Miss. Of course. Thank you so much. So, help me with Jackie's part, please. Okay. So, Sarai, if okay. you are ready, please get started. Okay. Good morning. This is Miss Perez. Hello, Miss Perez. This is Jackie. Um, I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of, of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. You, do you know the Procedures to, procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't see. Okay, let me explain this to you first. All right, and then the conversation continues. Thank you so much, girls. That was nice. So let's take a look at this. Primero, le dijo la palabra sir porque inicialmente era Mr. Perez, right? So, um, in English, tenemos un par de títulos. For example, para un hombre tenemos Mr. y tenemos Sir, right? For a woman, tenemos, digamos que uno más, tenemos tres. So, we have, para señorita, we say? Miss. Miss. O si no sé si está soltera o casada, utilizo Miss, right? O solo como respeto, Miss. Si ya es una señora, you know, o está casada, o necesitan expresar un poco más de respeto, ¿qué utilizamos? Mrs. Lady. Mrs. Lady, ok, that's ok. O también utilizamos la expresión como madame, right? So, la forma cortita eh, de decirlo es mom. <ríe> Se los acabo de compartir en el chat. So, mom, 
por si lo ven alguna vez, eh, significa eso, right? You're talking about a woman. So here is sir, porque era hombre. Me gusta mucho esta expresión. Let me eh, go ahead and la voy a... Uh, I'm going to choose another color para que lo puedan ver. I really like this expression. I am afraid. So afraid, sabemos que significa tener miedo, right? I am afraid. Pero en este escenario, the person or Mr. Pérez le preguntó, do you know the procedures to request a training? Y Yanni, or, yeah, Yanni le dice, I'm afraid I don't. So I'm afraid no se refiere a que temo, a que tengo miedo, <laughs> sino que I'm afraid es como lo siento, all right? I'm afraid, como una disculpa. So I'm afraid I don't. Oh, lo siento, pero no. Ya, yeah, o me apena, pero no lo sé. Okay, so this is the, the meaning of I'm afraid. ¿La habían visto antes? Have you seen the expression before? No, miss. No, okay. So I'm afraid es esto. No necesariamente, eh, siempre va a significar lo mismo. Todo depende del contexto. Puedo decir, tengo miedo. Oh, I have fear. Or I am so afraid. Pero en este contexto significa... Lo lamento, right? I'm sorry about that. Como una disculpa. Um, I have the following things. Le está preguntando del um, instructions and procedures de cómo pedir un entrenamiento. Guys, um, in your companies, ¿están interesados en entrenamientos? Do you normally go to trainings? Yes, miss. Yes. Yes, sure. Everybody? No. Do you normally get trainings? Les dan entrenamientos de lo que sea, anything? Uh, no, anything. Uh, no, I mean, uh, ajá, en general, exactly, in general. Uh, Do you get trainings uh, yes. of anything? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, okay. What about the rest? Guadalupe, do you normally go to trainings? Jocelyn, do you go to trainings? Alex, Brian. Van entrenamiento, chicos. Do you go to trainings? Karina, Brenda. ¿Les mandan algún tipo de entrenamiento? Como a cursos, trainings, workshops, like talleres. No, me. No, really. Okay. Okay, you don't. Richard, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Or, for example, eh, a través de Insafort, some companies los mandan, right? A que vayan un día, dos días, una jornada completa. Yes. So, those are part of the training. Okay. Okay, okay. Ya vamos a revisar un poquito de eso. Now, let's move on with the next one. Si se recuerdan el día de ayer, revisamos un job advertisement y revisamos las obligaciones de algunos trabajos, right? So, the jobs that we checked yesterday eran Recruitment Coordinator, Benefit Specialist, HR Generalist, Administrative Assistant, Compensation Specialist, and Talent Management Consultant. Estas son las mismas que vimos el día de ayer, así que no se vayan a asustar. Here we have Match the Positions in Part 2 with the definitions below. So, tenemos el empleo, tenemos la definición, but now the activity is, vamos a ponerlos juntos. We are going to match them. So, um, open up, pueden abrir el material del día de ayer, you can, um, pueden abrir el PDF, etc. So, let's take a look at this. Or just in case, por si acaso les muestro, o si no lo tienen, let me show you this yesterday. El día de ayer vimos esto. We check this part. Si no lo recuerdan, eh, no sé si lo pueden ver. Wait, I'm going to change. Creo que no. Logran ver eh, mi manual. Do you see my manual? Yes, miss. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. great, great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, esto de acá, this is the manual. Estos son los empleos que vimos ayer. Please, yes. tómale una, pueden tomarle una foto si no lo tienen. You can take a picture of this. Otherwise, es lo mismo de ayer, yeah. así que no worries. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, 
con esa información, ayúdenme a completar esto, please. Help me complete this part. ¿Cuál es la posición? What is the job? Number one is computer means is or a ministry <laughs> assistant. Teacher, the number one is talent manage, talent management. Okay, number one oversees both the talent review and the performance management. That is. Talent management consultant. Okay, so talent management consultant. What about number two? Develops strategies for clients regarding employee relations, uh, disciplinary actions, and operations. What is number two, guys? It's a HR generalist. generalist. Okay, so an HR generalist. All right. What about number three? Works in a company, human resource, or personnel. Puede trabajar en como en varias áreas. What is that? Um. <laughs> ¿Cuál de estos empleos? Which of these jobs es un poco más general? Administrative assistant? Exactly, the administrative yeah. assistant. Uh -huh. That is the answer, very good. Number four, is responsible for assisting with the administration of benefits. Can se encarga de los benefits? Benefits specialist? <laughs> yeah, benefit specialist, yeah. yes. Number five, handles administrative requests or requires from senior manage managers. So, ¿quién se encarga de, like, administrative staff? Administrative parts. Administrative assistant. Well, um, administrative assistant sería para la número tres, right? Works in human resource or personnel uh, department. ¿Cuál nos hace falta? Which is missing, guys. Talent management. Uh, I think is the talent management consultant. A uh, talent management consultant. Yeah. All right. What about the rest of you guys? What do you think? Teacher, uh, human resource. Okay, so human resources, the HR, you mean? Uh, which one? What de ellos? Uh, Norbert? Let me show you the answers, guys. Nos falta el último. Let's go for the last y luego revisamos, and then we check. So what do you have in the last one? The last one says, designs and implements recruiting strategies. So, ¿quién se encarga de las recruiting strategies? Eh, coordina coordinador, coordinator. Okay. All right, so let me, let me help you a little bit with the answers here. So, number one, you said talent management consultant. Está super bien, that's good. Number two, HR generalist, right? Que es quien se encarga de 
uh, disciplinary actions, quienes nos regañan o quienes nos encargan de despedirnos. Number three, works in a company's human resource or personnel department. Um, en este caso, eh, sí puede ser el administrative assistant, that's okay, pero hay una segunda opción eh, y esa es la situación eh, con la número tres. So, sí puede ser administrative assistant, pero la más, digamos que la respuesta para esta es compensation specialist. Number four está súper bien, benefit specialist. Y la última, number six, that is the one that Norbert mentioned, that is recruiting coordinator, and that's it. Okay, y esa sería la, la, la dificultad, right? Que en la número tres hay más de una opción. That is, there is more than one option. Okay, guys, um, we do have one speaking activity, pero antes de eso, let's take a look at the following exercise here. It says, read the procedure at air RC company. Algunas veces in your companies tienen eh, trainings, right? So procedure to request a training. Just a question, guys. Um, ¿Tienen algún proceso o tienen a alguien a quien acudir cuando quieren un training? Is there anybody? Yes, Miss. Uh, human resources. Okay, human resources. Now, hay un proceso, hay documentación. What do you do? ¿Qué hacen yes. cuando quieren un training? What do you do? Uh, the send the email. Okay. Or authorize for management in general. Mm -hmm. Or the uh, management for different finance or plan. The um, sale is authorized. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? So, ¿qué hacen? What do you do? ¿Le dicen a su jefe? Do you talk to your boss? ¿O escriben un correo? Do you send an email? Or the, uh, what do you do? So, Richard, tell us a little bit about your experience, Richard. Se mencionó que lo mandan a trainings. ¿Cómo los pide? ¿O does your company lo obliga a ir? Hi, teacher. Hi, Richard. ¿Cómo hace con los entrenamientos? Does, ¿Su empresa lo manda o usted los pide? Ah, uh, ok, ok. Uh, my boss, eh, cheque la plataforma de Instafo. Uh -huh. uh, uh, my, my case, eh, consulta quiero uh, you know, uh, uh -huh. estar ahí estar de, estar de la capacitación en el meeting y de ahí pues se, 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 se acepta pues pasamos a tener la, la capacitación la meeting. El training, ok, and that's it ok, ok, good then, do, do uh, good uh, meeting uh, selling Uh, selling. Yes, selling ventas. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, service claim. Customer service. Yes. Customer service. Uh, two, 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 uh, two Trainings. Yes. Two. Okay. Okay. Yes, so you can one, get some. Yes. One. One uh, meeting. Uh, Training. Training. Yeah. Training. <laughs> When training. training. Yes. Uh, intelligent emotional. Okay. Okay. So you can get yes. emotional intelligence. You can get sales. Yes. And uh, all right. Sounds good. It sounds good. Carlos, do one, you normally go to trainings too? Oh, sorry, Richard. Uh, one, one training. Uh, mechanic. Okay, yeah, because one, one in Suari, I guess. Okay, oh, yes. okay. So one year to be a mechanic. Good. Uh, Carlos, Jocelyn, Eduardo, what about you guys? I also want to listen to the experts in this area. <laughs> Pedrina, está por ahí. Are you around? 
Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hola, Miss. ¿Qué tal? How are you? <laughs> Pedrina, tell us, because esta es su área. <laughs> so, your company, ¿cuál es el proceso? What is the procedure? Intente lo que pueda y acá le ayudamos. No worries. Select in procession. Organization. Organize. Y luego. Luego. En los capacit capacitos. Training. They get a training. Uh -huh. um, let me ask you this, Padrina. In group. Oh, okay. So the training is in group. Uh, three or four. Uh, mm -hmm. um, de esos, tres o cuatro. Okay, three or four from them. A uh, uh, selección. El ideal. Okay, okay, let me ask you this. Eh, usted trabaja en el área, pero es un outsourcing. Exacto. Okay, y si es entrenamiento para la propia, eh, para la gente que trabaja con ustedes, ustedes reciben trainings. Eh, uh, sorry. Yes. Oh. Pero siempre están dentro de la empresa. Okay, están dentro de la empresa. So, cuando usted quiere un entrenamiento, when you need a training, ¿cómo hace? Eh, casi siempre son cuadrillas de personas nuevo. Entonces, ahí el capacitador es uno de los socios. Oh. Entrenamiento en varias áreas. Ah, oh, ok, nice. So, es como entre ustedes mismos, kind of. Ah, ok, ok, good, good, good. Thank teacher. you. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, I want to participate. Yeah, uh, tell us, tell us. Yes, in, in Sagrisa, uh, in our company, the human resource management pro programs and evaluation are a year for all employees and their training is scheduled for example electric welding first aid autocad etc or the the last uh, program in the in Safor, uh, was uh, excel basic excel for me for example that that is a uh, Sorry, esa es la forma. That's the way. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. Company. That's the way in our company for, for the... Um, for trainings. For training, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, thank you so much. Okay, guys, so here we have a little description. It's como un procedure to request training. I just need some people to help me read it. Uh, Danis, I'm going to take you. Ayúdame con las primeras, porfa. Help me with the first. Uh, first, mm -hmm. choose the training you are interested on. Listen on the bulletin board. Mm -hmm. Bulletin board, yes. Okay. Continue. Okay. Check why the talent management also mm -hmm. if you can take the training. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Uh, Mabel, can you continue, please? Number okay. three. Okay, send a note requesting, requesting your yes. participation. Mm -hmm. uh, Sigo? Yes, please. Uh, write, write the name of the training you need. Mm -hmm. Specify the date. Specify the date and our hours of instructions. Yes, that's okay. Thank you. Um, Sarai, can you continue? Number six. Mention the place where the event will take place. Mm -hmm. Seven, 
specify specify the price of the training mm -hmm. eight send it to the human resource department thank you very much and brenda please number 10 well number nine and ten Que Brenda se levantó. Uh, who is around? Norbert, can you help me with nine and ten? Make sure to include all the information request. requested. Requested. Uh, <laughs> if information is missing in the note, we will know how to reason anything training. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thanks everybody. So here we have like the normal process, let's say, para que ustedes puedan pedir un training. Um, I don't know si se parece el de ustedes. For example, choose the training you are interested. Normalmente las empresas hay como una pizarrita, right? Y usted puede elegir, so you can select. Or sometimes eh, la, en la empresa ya les asigna y los manda, pues, right? Then write the name of the training, specify the hour, uh, the date, the price, that's important, and where it will take place. A donde va a ser, donde se va a llevar a cabo, right? Where? So, and that's it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Here, guys, tenemos la siguiente parte que dice practice uh, the following types of training. Richard ya nos mencionó algunos como emotional intelligence, like sales, uh, also... Uh, Ignacio mentioned Excel, basic Excel. All right. Here, guys, tenemos los siguientes. Excellent customer service, improving computer skills. Effective communication. Learning about writing skills. Organizing time. Creating websites and others. So, ¿qué otros trainings mencionarían? ¿A cuáles han ido? What trainings have you attended to? Excel, alguien ha tomado clases de ofimática, like Excel, Word, yes, yes. For, uh, PowerPoint. In mm -hmm. my case, is Excel Avanced. Ah, okay, or, nice. Um, Power BI. Power BI. In Cisco. Cisco. Cisco, yeah. Cisco. Ooh, Cisco. why? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, entiendo que eso es más avanzado, right? Yeah, for, for KPI. Ah, okay. Analyze yeah, because I understand it's much more avanzado. Okay. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? ¿Qué tipo de, qué tipo de training has tenido? Remember that training is cualquier tipo de capacitación. Or workshop, como un taller. Any other? Emotional intelligence. <coughs> Team building, como trabajo en equipo. Teacher, attention, attention, client. Okay, sería como el customer service. That would be like customer service. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Richard, creo que tenía otro. Uh, first, uh, first aid. First aid. Wow, nice. First aid, primeros auxilios. Yes. Good. Basic, basic, basic. Oh, yes. No, but that's amazing. Guys, Ord, for example, una de las más interesantes I have been to eh, era la de el cuerpo de bomberos. Like the, yes. in a case of fire. So, ¿qué hacer in case of fire? Yes. Especially because in that training, llevaron extinguishers, right? Y nos pusieron a apagar un fuego. <laughs> so that was super uh, cool. In my case, in my case uh, uh, also, uh, the gas, eh, the gas, the gas, the gas, Ah, I mean, yeah, different, different type of fires. Yes. yes. No, but, but I like that one porque me enseñaron a utilizar eso. Okay. <laughs> so I liked it. Okay, guys, listen up. Tenemos un par de minutitos y vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, I want you to tell me, guys, first, vamos a enfocarnos en esta parte de abajo. 
types of training. Quiero que piensen en el mejor training. En un training que hayan ido, right? Think about a training you have attended, you have been to, and quiero que nos describan qué hicieron o por qué les gustó ese entrenamiento, right? Esta capacitación, the taller, the workshop, all right? Todos son trainings. So, what was your favorite and why? So, my favorite training was... Let me, voy a ayudarles un poquito con la intro para que, you know, eh, ustedes luego se vayan solitos. So, I can use something like, let me talk. Let me talk about my favorite training. That can be one way. Yeah, like, let me talk about my favorite training. Or I am going to, I would talk about, I would talk about my favorite training. So, son algunas formas como puedo iniciar hablando de un tema. Or, my favorite training was, and of course, siempre damos detalles, because, all right, que fue lo que hicieron. So, guys, I will give you like four minutes. I think it's enough. Pueden escribirlo. You can write it down. And then, vamos a escucharlos. We are going to listen to you talking about this. So, la primera, let me talk about my favorite training. Permítanme contarles. Let me talk about my favorite training. Or, voy a contarles. I will talk about my favorite training. Or, my favorite training was a first aid or my favorite training was uh, in emotional intelligence or team building, especialmente porque en las actividades de team building nos ponen a jugar, right? <laughs> so, because nos, lleva, nos llevaron a un lugar, you know, we went to the park and we played, then we danced. So, piensen en, en like, no es algo necesariamente con Instagram, sino un training puede ser dentro de su misma empresa, right? Algo que su sus jefes inmediatos organizan, por ejemplo. So, I'll give you four minutes. Tenemos hasta las 36. Escríbanlo si necesitan. Si necesitan el vocabulario, you can write it down y luego los escuchamos.
Vale. Si salís de todo San Jacinto y te vas por el centro. One more minute. Okay, guys, uh, it is about time. So let me let me like uh, let me know if I have some volunteers. If I, if anybody wants to go for it, or the, I think I can just like go and pick a name. So that, that is just fine as well. Carlos, hello, Carlos. Thank you so much. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very good. Nice, nice. So, um, did you complete this one? Are you ready to tell us about the best, um, what the, the best training you have attended? Yes. Yeah, nice. Tell us about it, please. Okay, my my power training or the best training was when I go to the uh, my first training. Okay. Ten years ago. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you remember? <laughs> okay. Yes, it was the first. Uh, was in the Hotel Prince uh, Hilton. Okay. Near Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, this training. Uh, was about the tariff call of custom. Okay. An an update okay. about the law. And it was very interactive mm -hmm. the training. And the lunch time was a buffet. Okay. Uh, very interesting uh, all training because was the my, my first training and since uh, 
Uh, what's my vocation for my work? Oh, okay. So I guess it was really interesting because it was the first time you went to like a training, but also you said the food was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you must have been really good. Nice. Wow, 10 years ago. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience. That's amazing. Anybody else who wants to tell us about your experience, guys? What was the, the first training or the most memorable training you can remember? Teacher. I, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, my after my previous work, uh -huh. uh, I the teacher music. Yeah, that's right. And, and I working in Exal College. Okay. From the 2005 to 2009. Oh. I will talk about my favorite training is in, in Excel College. Okay. I have been, uh, pardon, I received training in my case. I was the kindergarten area. Oh, really? Wait. Yes. So you you taught the kids how to play instruments. Yes, yes, I play wow. uh, trumpet. Okay. Uh, eh, entonces, la cosa es que hay... Mm, espérame, que me perdí, quiero recordarme. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I cut you off. I yes. was with the kindergarten area and they given use the Montessori method for children. Okay. Uh, but the training served me, my, I loved in my life mm -hmm. and in my work, the teacher music. Oh, wow, that is, that is wonderful, but, but let me ask you uh, some questions because I think it's very interesting. So, um, you play the trumpet, pero les enseñaba a los niños, so you taught these children, right, how to play different musical instruments. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, flauta, no sé cómo se dice, flauta dulce. The flute, uh -huh, like the little one, the, que es como yes. un, una varita. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Good. It's core music. Uh, they kill the they learn the score music. Score. Like generalities. Yes, yes. About music. Wow. But with kindergarten, really? <laughs> okay. So debe de tener mucha paciencia. You must be really patient. No, no, the working is uh, beautiful because the kid is some people very, very sweet. Yes. Uh, ever, see, always, uh, always uh, be happy. Uh, ellos siempre andan contentos. And uh, they and hug uh, you like, teacher, yes. teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, it's just beautiful. Pero no sé, no me lo imagino because... Hay como una gran diferencia, right? In your current job and your previous job. So, yes, ¿cómo yes. fue el cambio? How was the transition? Uh, ahí solo Dios sabe. Pero <laughs> ya la aquí. Okay, sí. okay. No, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful because it's different, <laughs> right? But nice. Wow. All right. Amazing. So, that sounds just fine. Creo que René nos quería contar algo. Yes. No sé si algo yes. privado de usted, a gossip. <laughs> René, tell us. No, nada, teacher, nada. Es que, <laughs> que hermano, no, no, no es paciente. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's angry. And sometimes mm. he's very angry. Ok, ok. Bueno, well, entonces me imagino que aprendió como un poco de paciencia with kids, right? So, ajá, yeah. uh -huh. so, todo, todo sucede, you know, todo tiene una razón de ser. <laughs> okay, yeah. no, but that, that is nice, and I, I'm super excited to hear that it was the most beautiful experience for you, Alex. So, it's great. Yeah. Yes. Ignacio, I think I heard Ignacio's voice. This is my history. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell us about your training. Uh, yes, yes, tell us. Yeah, my training was for... Evacuation Brigade. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, in 2010, 
Sandrita Jeffrey the Fire mm -hmm. in, in 2010. And uh, almost almost everything burning. The fire, the fire tears, the bomberos, the mm -hmm. fire tears tried to put out the fire, but I was not possible to control it. Mm -hmm. Wait, but but usted estaba en entrenamiento de, con los firefighters. Sorry, but uh, in in 2010 I don't work in Sagrisa. Okay, My where job, did you work? I, I work in Anda. Oh, but, okay. But but in 2010, Sagrisa suffered a fire. Oh, yeah. okay. 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 Um, in that moment, even the even there a uh, firefighter died. Oh, wow! Uh, un bombero murió. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Since since then, an uh, occupational health and safety committee has been implemented with different Ooh. brigades. I belong to the evacuation brigade and I have a receiver appropriate training uh -huh. to efficiently evacuate employees from my area. Oh, okay. So the reason- My area is a small okay. because, because only maybe have a, 10 or 12 people. People. Okay. People. Also, and, and it's my responsibility to um, evacuate evacuation mm -hmm. the that that my area. Oh uh, okay. The fire fire steers uh, to bring uh training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds amazing. And I understand now why it is important to evacuate people because the company suffered the loss of a person. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that. All right. Um, next and the last person. Alguien más? Do we have another person? Alguien que nos quiera compartir today, guys? Me, teacher. Yes, Norbert. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Tell us. Good, good. Tell us numbers. We are all ears. My training, uh, my training was uh, about the Bitcoin. Bitcoin, like the yeah. new guys. By the way, hablando de Bitcoin, I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Cuando empieza? When does it uh, go live? Next seven September, teacher. Oh, September the seventh. Okay, so. ¿Ya fueron a ver los ATM? ¿Ya fueron a ver los cajeros? ¿Are there ATMs? No, no, no. no man. Not yet. Okay. Teacher, uh, I am I'm going to see a ATM in, in the centro. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, this is really interesting because, uh, you know, queramos o no queramos, estamos de acuerdo, no estamos de acuerdo, Bitcoin mm -hmm. is a reality, right? So, Norbert, nice. That sounds super nice. Yeah. Si nos puede contar un poquito de eso, that would be great. So, tell us. It's a short teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, how use platform, mm -hmm. uh, uh, tight uh, wallet. The wallet. The wild, wallet. Wallet. Uh, wallet. Uh -huh. Wallet. Uh -huh, es una wallet. Uh, the transfer um, and because uh, uh, dollar. Okay. Um, uh, it's the uh, only teacher. Oh, okay. So yeah. your training was about bitcoins and how to transfer yeah. from bitcoins to dollars, but that's it. ¿Ya lo vieron en la plataforma, en Chivo, o solamente en la wallet? Es... Solo la teoría. Ya yes, es, es, <risa> es, es bien diferente, al, al, porque según dicen, no se había creado todavía la, la aplicación. La wallet. Yes. Todavía yeah. no, existía, no existía, ¿verdad? Cuando nos dieron esa capacitación. 
Pero no estaban orientando ahí como transferir, si queríamos en dólares o en Bitcoin. 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 Bitcoin, ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, ok, ok. So cuando le expliquen más, eh, because me imagino que antes del 7 le van a volver a tener training. So nos explica Norbert. <laughs> So, actually, este módulo tenemos eh, una actividad eh, al finalizar esta unidad número 3, que es precisamente sobre trainings. Esta unidad es de Human Resources, un poquito de entrenamiento, things like those. So, guys, les voy a pedir que empiecen a pensar un poquito en un mini training que nos puedan dar, right? Like in a real mini training. Para eso sí les voy a pedir que armemos eh, como un video. And this is going to be, se los dejo ahorita, porque lo vamos a presentar el día martes. No es algo largo. It is not very, very long. But nos va a ayudar bastante que practiquemos eh, fuera de la clase también, right? Sometimes en la clase escucho como las mismas vocecitas. I would like to listen to more people say, me teacher, you know. <laughs> Pero a veces yo sé que pues somos tímidos o... No sentimos like participating, así que let's do the following. Eh, for next Thursday, no, Tuesday, sorry. For next Tuesday, all right, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I want you to record or make, okay, record or make a three-minute video. No les voy a pedir algo largo. But estamos en módulo 6, you know, es algo que ya podemos hacer, we can definitely do it. Usted lo puede practicar, puede escribir su guión y, and then you practice it. No le voy a pedir que lo edite o que lo haga super pro, no, definitely not. Tome su teléfono, you know, and, o entre a Zoom, graba y pues eso mismo lo, usted lo convierte a MP4, el solito se convierte. And me lo pueden enviar. You can send it to me. So, for next Thursday, guys, vamos a grabar a three-minute video giving a training. Vamos a dar un entrenamiento. El tema se los dejo a su criterio. Yo sé que tenemos acá personas con muy buenas habilidades y you no know, conocedoras del área eh, que, que ustedes manejan. Eso puede ser un training que ustedes normalmente hagan como... Yeah, I mean, algo que ustedes hacen, como cuando okay. ustedes se reúnen con alguien más y les dicen, vaya, vamos, le voy a explicar cómo hacer esto. So, es lo que vamos a hacer. Ya, yeah, a three minute, eh, a three minute video explicando cómo hacer algo. Por ejemplo, si usted es muy bueno en Excel y quiere dar ese mini training, los tres minutitos eh, explicando cómo hacer, no sé, una fórmula en Excel, pues hágalo. No hay problema siempre y cuando lo haga en inglés. Um, por ejemplo, yo sé que, eh, well, for example, let me see, Alex y René, ellos tocan instrumentos, puede ser algo de eso, you know, it can be something like that. Um, I know that Richard trabaja en el área más física, so puede explicarnos cómo, no sé, cómo reparar algo, cómo hacer algo, eh, y nos va explicando en el video, right? Um, let me see, what else? Eh, Nelson, what do you do? I'm sorry to ask. No sé si ya le había preguntado antes. Ustedes son accountant, right? Yes, teacher. Assistant. Ok, okay so you're an assistant. Well, pero si no necesariamente tenga solo habilidades con números, probablemente with something else. O si nos quiere explicar cómo hacer la declaración de renta, pues nosotros felices de aprender. Ok. Um, creo que Eduardo también es un accountant. Si no me equivoco. Oh, no. <risa> bueno, algo que ustedes consideren <risa> útil, something that you consider, ah, okay. nos va a servir en la vida. <risa> ok. Or, the, I mean, no necesariamente es con su área, si consideran que nos pueden compartir algo más que ustedes sepa cómo hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. This is a training, so, ya sea relacionado con sus actividades de todos los días, or... The, tenemos gente con muy buenas habilidades. So, show us, tell us how to do it. Eh, por ejemplo, sé que Norberto es muy bueno con las impresoras. And uh, so nos pueden enseñar técnicas de cómo ahorrar tinta. I don't know. Cómo imprimir algo. Or, etc. You know, something really easy. Guys, no sé si this is clear. Dígame, Danis. Sí, teacher. 
tell me, Dennis. Now, um, antes que se me olvide, ¿cómo voy a hacer este three minute video? Well, una vez lo grabé el teléfono, right? Uh, me lo puede enviar. Tenemos una plataforma, así que ahora ya se las voy a uh, publicar por ahí, como en el foro. Eh, me lo van a mandar en forma de, eh, de link, all right? So send your link. Um, ¿Cómo o a qué se me refiero con el link? Algunas veces los videos eh, son de alta resolución, depende de cómo sean grabados, etc. Y para asegurarnos que todos los podamos ver, creo que todos usan Google, right? Todos tienen email con Gmail, sí. I guess. Y si alguien no lo tiene, let me know y, y los, les ayudo cómo hacerlo. Creo que lo hemos hecho antes, hemos grabado conversaciones antes. Ahora vamos a grabar un video. So, lo que vamos a hacer es upload... Van a subir, upload your video, the drive, ok. So, el primero, suben su video, cuando ya lo tengan listo, lo suben a su drive, a su carpeta de drive de Gmail, y luego solamente you're going to send, nos van a enviar ese link, right? Ese link eh, para que todos lo podamos ver. Solamente lo dejan. Eh, no restringido, porfa, le cambian la seguridad de su video para que todos lo podamos ver. Y eso es todo. That's going to be it. So, questions, preguntas, doubts. No questions. I create the Gmail because my, uh, my Gmail ahorita está bloqueado. Oh. Well, pero hay formas de desbloquearlo, creo, solicitando una contraseña adicional. Um, mm, 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 let me think about it. Si no, déjeme pensar. Hay algunos teléfonos también que tienen nube. So, uh, hay algunos, más ahora, los teléfonos inteligentes tienen como una iCloud que les permite también compartir links. So, eh, si su teléfono lo tiene, si puede almacenar video o pictures, audios y cosas así, me puede compartir el link de ahí también. No es necesario que cree el de Gmail. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. So that's ok. Anybody else? ¿Alguien, eh, nunca, ¿alguien es nuevo utilizando Drive? Yes. Richard? And the question. Uh, no sé si se recuerda el video que yo le envié. ¿Sí? El video que me envió, where? Yo sé, yo sé. Oh my God. <laughs> no, Richard. Oh my God. De, de que cómo, era, de cómo Richard. Hacer, de, 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 de que usted dijo que igual que hiciéramos una presentación uh -huh. de lo que estábamos, de lo que hacíamos en el trabajo. Oh, yes. Igual, igual, yes, igual. yes, yes, yes. Entonces, uh -huh. mi, mi, mi pregunta, Pero no me vaya a enviar el mismo video. <laughs> No, yo sé, teacher. O sea, la pregunta es que si está bien así o hay que cambiarle algo porque no me dijo nada. No me dijo que si lo vio ni nada. Es, la que, es la que subió, right? I mean, yes. yes. De hecho, sí, sí, tengo acceso a ellos todavía. I have access to them. Ah, ok. Creería que okay. todavía ajá, no se les publicó. Pero, yes, of course, les voy a dar el feedback inmediatamente. You get it. Ajá. Ah, bueno, inmediatamente okay. ustedes lo suben. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes. Entonces sería casi similar. De hecho, es la misma idea, solo que cambiamos un poquito el tema, right? Porque ahora okay. sí ya nos van a dar un entrenamiento cortito de cómo hacer algo. Uh -huh. Pero sí, okay. es la misma idea. Pretty much okay. the same idea. Ok, everybody. So, uh, remember, this is for next Tuesday, all right? Uh, ya les voy a publicar dónde lo puedan subir para que ya comiencen a hacerlo. Y si pueden, sábado y domingo, que son los días que tenemos como un poco más de tiempo a veces, mejor. Así ya nos, nos están no están como muy preocupados, right? Eh, que no les quede tiempo el día lunes o martes. Guys, eh, estamos terminando. ¿Ya? Yeah, dígame. Why the Tuesday? Tuesday. Why? Why? Sorry. Oh, because we are finishing. Monday? No, because we are finishing a unit number three on Wednesday. So, un día antes, one day before, uh, we can have it. And hopefully, les pueda mostrar o les pueda pasar algunos de los videos el día um, Wednesday. That's why. Y con eso terminaríamos la unidad número tres. Mm -hmm. This is why. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. 
Ok, guys, solamente me regalan confirmación, porfa. Algunos que me hacían falta. Eh, Danis, regálenme confirmación, please. Present, Miss. Gracias. Nelson, ya escuché a Nelson por ahí. But just give me confirmation. Thank you so much. And Claudia. Okay. Okay, everybody. So thanks a lot for your attendance. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Nos vemos el día lunes, guys. Que descansen, disfruten de su fin de semana. I'll be seeing you on Monday. See bye, you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I got one on one. Wait. No, I tengo one on one con Alex. Se me fue Alex. <laughs> no, ahí está. I was like, where is Alex? Wait. <laughs> okay, let me a second. Alex, give me just a second. Hold on. <laughs> me quedé buscándole for just a second. I was like, where is he? <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'll be here. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. So just let me share this. Uh, oh my God, where did I do my presentation? Okay, how are you? ¿Qué tal, Alex? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? ¿Cómo está su uh, Friday? ¿Ya está en su casa? ¿O todavía está fuera? No. No, no. Oh, office. so you're at work. Okay. But is Rene with you too? No, no, Rene is home. Oh, okay. Oh, but today is the day that you start working at 1 or 2 p.m., right? 2 p.m., 2 p.m. Okay, and what time do you finish? 10? 9, because I can read in the... The, the report. The report. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So you're writing course. reports. Okay. Yes. No, but nice. Thank you so much for your attendance. Wow. So you're working. All right. So Alex, I just have like some feedback antes de escucharlo <laughs> before we move on. Uh, first, me alegra ver que ha mejorado bastante con la tienda. Yo sé que se está esforzando mucho, mucho, solo con el hecho de conectarse. Thank you so much for that. Eh, lo segundo, eh, me está mejorando bastante. Good, I like it a lot. Lo siento mucho más fluido. Time. I'm ah. sorry? Sí, el tiempo de conexión. Yeah, yeah, that is one, like with attendance. Y también la segunda es con fluidez. Eh, siento que está mejorando su vocabulario. So your vocabulary is getting better. Uh, su fluidez también está mejorando. Your fluency is getting better as well. Um, I would say solamente, eh, yeah, tiene muy buena entonación. Your intonation is good. Tiene un muy buen acento. So good. Solo metámosle, you know. Get more vocabulary. Eh, trabaje con algunas cositas de grammar. Por ejemplo, eh, creo que por ahí <ríe> le, le, voy a, le voy a solo a dar un... un eh, un, un, a little advice <ríe> por ejemplo la expresión eh, I be here tendría que ser I am here so, I am. So, yes I am porque lo conjugamos también cositas así de, del verbo right pero, pero por lo general se está comunicando mucho mejor eh, siento bueno yo lo siento que ya no lo piensa como mucho que ya no me está buscando una palabrita otra palabrita así que súper bien solo es de buscar más vocabulary y trabajar con detallitos así de grammar. Eh, now tell me, ¿cómo se siente? How do you feel so far? Siente que está oh, avanzando. Uh -huh. yes, is, yes, is your yes. listening getting better? Eh, no sé cómo lo decirlo, pero sí el, el cerebro se me está como adaptando. Cool. Eh, de the history, the kid, uh -huh. eh, me están ayudando mucho. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I, I shared... Uh, some stories with the group too because I think they are really good. I mean, that is like a really good technique what you're doing. Do you practice with your brother? Do you practice with Brian or or no, do you just process? Uh, we are have, don't have time in okay. the work. I see. Este. 
con René a veces, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. I, I practice in my home con my daughter. Eh, con your daughter? Los cuentos, ¿verdad? Ah. Lo repetimos. Nice. How old is your daughter? Five years old. Uy, oh, she's so cute. She's a baby. <laughs> oh, no, but that is great. Because when children listen to videos and they repeat, their pronunciation, their intonation is beautiful. It's amazing. That's a very nice thing. Okay. It's a good technique. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is a good technique. Now tell me, um, tell me, uh, well, let, let's stop. We have like five minutes. So I think we can take advantage of the time and, and hear you speaking a little bit. <laughs> okay. So um, normally, um what are some when you are not working what are some activities that you do outside work um, when it's your day off i was go to the gym mm -hmm. i was este, go to the party in the family mm -hmm. uh, uh, generalmente the saturday on sunday saturday and sunday okay uh, is sometime or sometime este I was go to the Cuscatlan Park uh, okay. running. Okay, so um, sin el was, sin el was. Ah. Uh -huh. so I go, I, I, I go, go. Uh -huh, I go. exactly, yeah. I go oh. to the Cuscatlan Park. Oh, really? Uh, do do you live? Uh, do you live close? Do you live close to or near Parque Cuscatlan? Yes, yes, to a street. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, I went, no, I haven't been there in a long time. Okay. Yeah, like years probably. Oh, but that's nice. Um, so what what can you find? What are some of the things? Because I know that Parque Cuscatlan is different, looks different now. So what can you find in Parque Cuscatlan? Can you describe it for me? Oye, ahí me quedo ahorita. Descríbamelo con there is and there are. ¿Qué hay? What, what, can, you, what can you say about the park? Uh, the park. Mm -hmm. mm, no, no, no tiene mayor cosa. No le sale. There are, yeah. there are three. There are este, the gin machine. Mm -hmm. eh, the, eh, un, un little sand o, o caminos. Ah, oh, like some path. Okay. Mm -hmm. Path. Como caminitos, right? So path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. But is it nice? Is it safer? Está más seguro? Is it safe? Yes. 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 Uh, that here, well, the, the police, the camp agent walking. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So they go, okay. They pass by. All right, nice. So, so normally you do like exercise and things like those. Okay. Um, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so normally, exactly. So th that sounds really good, you know. So se comunica super bien at the moment that we are using them. Eh, solamente es como de, de agregarle un poquito más de vocabulario, right? I mean, English es una cuestión de detalles. Entonces, Usted puede agregarle colores, <ríe> puede agregarle su opinión, como una big, a small, eh, a comfortable, a modern, so, para que suene como, como más descriptores. A I mí mean, está diciendo lo mismo, pero como agregarle más flores. <ríe> es, I would say es lo único que, que, que nos falta, pero súper bien. Very, very nice. Eh, solo una cosita, Alex. Estaba revisando el well, revisé el lunes si le soy bien honesta y creo que me hacía falta el meter lo logró terminar did you complete it? no, ya voy a ver si ahorita que llegue a la casa lo voy a terminar vaya, porfa, sí, porque creería que solo el meter me debía de la, de la semana anterior, ¿verdad? la, la uh -huh. unidad sí me la completó, gracias por eso eh, solamente me ayuda con el meter, porfa, y si puede avanzar cuando tenga unos minutos libres eh, con la unidad 3 Sería perfecto, así ya quedamos en paz, ¿ok? <ríe> ok, thank you. Marvin no le quito más tiempo, que descanse, que disfrute su noche, que termine rápido. <ríe> ok, y nos vemos el lunes. I see you on Monday. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye.